Guys, I was saving the ba the last this case for last, and the reason why is it's ultra expensive. It's the best case that you can get right now for basketball that's available, but it's also the most risky, expensive piece of shit that I could do, and I'm a freaking fool. Because unless I throw a logo man or an unbelievable RCA, I am screwed in the whatever with nothing but the sole consequences of directifiable virtue. <laughs> yes, I'm treasure basketball, guys. I'm not going to tell you how much I paid. Nobody's breaking this stuff anymore, guys. Why aren't they breaking it? It became too expensive. Your return is, the odds are extremely poor, and you'll only find a-holes like Russo still breaking this stuff. But this is only the second case I've done, guys, so I'm taking a shot. All right, let's see the uh, printing plate. There's one per pack. It's Kawhi Leonard printing plate 101. The base is on top. And it's a Rudy Gobert. It's the gold version, number 10. The first few cards, like in any National Treasures product, is usually junk. Trevor Reza. Gets better as you get deeper into the pack. Evan Turner, you see what I'm saying? Now it gets a little better because you get a jersey with a with a stripe at least of Mario Herzegovina. And then you go back to a freaking jersey of Ben Wallace. And now you get a patch, and this one is of who? Marcelo Huertas. Number two five, yeah, five of five from the Lakers. Then you get a Damari Carroll autograph. And then a redemption, but I'll show you that in a second because I didn't look. And at least I got a nice patch autograph. Uh, Kevin Durant, number 210. Number 10. That's pretty, no? Kevin Durant. And here is your uh, redemption. Rookie. Patch autograph silver, so it's an RPA. I think the silvers are the 25. I don't know. The Frank Kaminsky's deli. So that's an eBay card for sure. All right, guys, see one box already down. Ciao.